Right. If you've done this before, then great. I'm doing this video for people who have read stuff in the manual but haven't actually done it and just want to see someone else do it so that they know what they're doing. Right, take the top of the oil pump off. Got the bits you'll see in the manual there. Your top clearance with the feeder gauge underneath is between 001 and 03. The A and B clearance between the lobes. Maximum of six and B there is a maximum of eight. So you get your feeder gauges. I can uh, open them up. Get your 003. Put it on a straight edge. Right, and you can sort of drag that out. Just about within spec. That's 06. And you can get that past easy. You can even get a seven and an eight and a nine. So this is worn and I wouldn't use it. <clears throat> Again, the bit on the outside, you can get the eight down the side. Hello, mate. Nine. Anyway, so that needs new bits. There you go. That's what a warm one looks like. Right, I think we're on. Right. This is the bit explained in the manual. You can see the page. 003 and 001. So you get your feeler gauge to 003 and you sit it on there with a straight edge and you just drag it and see if it will drag your ruler over. That is just on clearance because I cleaned this face up. Now the next one, you've got there A and B. A maximum 006. Double oh six. Now you sort of run it in there, and you can just get it to uh, try and pinch both. See that won't go past. Normally O five. This is actually quite a good oil pump. Just about get an O four through there. So that's good that way. And again on the outside, you just try and get it in. You just about get an 05 in there. And six, only just get a seven. And the eight won't go in there. So this is good. So just put the lid back on, put the bolts back in, that on, the little spring clip goes through there, away you go.